Hi folks, it's 1.35 here in Cameron Indoor Stadium. Uh, a little bit later than we all probably thought we'd still be here, but the game went a little bit longer than we all thought it would. You know, it took an overtime period for Duke to pull out the 92-90 win over North Carolina. I'm Laura Keeley, joined here by Andrew Carter, my colleague at the News and Observer. And you know, Andrew, for the first four minutes, Duke was up like 20 to eight, and I thought this was gonna be a blowout. You know, easy, stick your feet up, and you know, kind of autopilot right, and then it didn't really work out that way. You know, UNC's depth was the difference uh, de the rest of the way, and they had their little runs in the second half, 13-0 and 7-0, and you know, then all of a sudden they're up by 10 with like three minutes left, and I'm sitting there writing a Tar Heels win story. You know, what were you doing over down there? I was, well, yeah, I wrote a story for print about how UNC did defending Jaleel Okafor, which I thought they did really a marvelous job, especially in regulation. Uh, they held Okafor to eight points, which would have been his season low. Okafor, of course, did score four points in overtime after Bryce Johnson fouled out. But yeah, I thought UNC really had this game. Uh, it was UNC's to lose. You lead by 10 points with less than four minutes to go. You think you're going to win. You're up by five points with 45 seconds to go, mm -hmm. I think it was. And obviously UNC looked to be in great shape uh, at that point too, but just kind of gave it away late with some silly mistakes. They had some guys collide into each other uh, on a rebound down here. Duke scores off of that. Kennedy Meeks throws uh, a long inbounds pass, throws it away for a turnover. I don't think Duke scored on that possession, but it was still kind of another one of those moments where, you know, it just, you know, UNC lost control there uh, mm -hmm. a little bit late, but certainly, you know, overall, I thought this was possibly the Tar Heels' best game uh, really of the season. To come over here in Cameron Indoor Stadium, I know a lot of people did not give UNC much of a shot tonight. Uh, it had lost three of its past four games, had not been playing well, and really kind of broke out of its funk in a lot of ways. He saw Jason Tokido play well, Bryce Johnson had one of his best games, uh, Kennedy Meeks played well, they defended Okafor well, like I said. You have Nate um, Britt and Joel yeah. James and Isaiah, Isaiah Hicks Isaiah and Hicks came all the these and people. Played well. Britt played well. So everything, or well not everything, but a lot of things were great for UNC tonight, except what was on the scoreboard at the end. Yeah, you know, and that's something that Duke has actually done really well this year is, you know, when their backs kind of against the ball and times are tough. You know, they find a way to reverse course and reverse momentum. They did it against St. John's, they did it against Virginia, and they did it here against UNC. And that's just something that this Duke team has done really well. You know, you have Tyus Jones. Duke ends regulation on an 11-2 run. Nine of those points are from Tyus Jones. You know, he's just little 6-1 point guard. And, you know, as Mike Krzyzewski said afterwards, there's a reason that we recruited this guy and only this guy for three years to be our future point guard. And, and you saw that. He just kind of has it. You know, Okafor overcame his little ankle injury scare where I think everybody kind of held their breath and died there a few was a deaths. Here, yeah. And, um, and yeah, you know, it's, you know, they, they found a way. They forgot about tired, as the Duke coaches like to say, and just kind of dug deep and, and got it done. And the other thing too, I will say from a UNC point of view, the one thing I thought had that had to happen for these guys to have a shot was that Marcus Page, I thought really had to play well. He did not play well. No. Really probably the most disappointing aspect of the Tar Heels performance tonight. Page took it very hard in the locker room. He sounded pretty devastated. He was very upset with himself. He was very harsh on himself. He basically said, you know what, my teammates got it done. I did not get it done. He only had five points. Uh, just two for 11 for him from the field tonight. So he didn't play well, but all in all, a good performance for UNC, and I'm going to be interested to see whether they take this as a positive going forward or whether it's just one of those crushing, debilitating kind of losses that just kind of hangs over their heads. I guess we we'll shall see. see. Yeah, we shall see. It's 1.30 something uh, in the morning. 38, I believe. Uh, I'm reminded of that old Tim Meadows skit on Saturday Night Live, Perspectives. You're watching Perspectives. It's 3.35 in the a.m. Remember that? I think it's time yeah, probably for you to good. go to bed, Andrew. I think so. So we're going to get out of here. We are. Yeah. We're going to go ice skate home. I'm Laura Keeley, and for Andrew Carter, thanks for watching.